If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Larry here, and welcome my good pink people. Yes, it is I. I'm still humbling before thee. And this video is sponsored by Pin Boutique from Lena herself. Thank you, Lena, and to all your staff for all the hard work they do, because there's plenty of it. And as always, I want to bring your attention a very important thing for me. Remember, only us coming together can help. We may not be able to shut it down completely, but at least we can help those who come down with this awful illness. Cancer awareness is, I believe, in October, but I like to keep it year-round to remind folks. You never know who's going to get it. It could be one of us. God forbid. Thank you, Lena, for caring. Thank you so much. So, with that said, a pin came out a while back when I was too ill to review it, and it was one that I've been interested in, so it's a Lombie, a Lombie Safari, yes. So let's go right to the pin, how it comes, which we all are familiar with Lombie with the exception of people falling down and down we go in the rabbit hole. New people, new bees, new wannabes. This is the Lamy Safari. Even if you're a pin enthusiast, like me, I never get tired of the Lamy. One of my favorite all-time pins. Affordable, a great writer, Looks good, feels great in the hand, just all around just a great fountain pen and an affordable price. But right now, you can get the same pen in the gift set over at Pin Boutique. Well, and it comes with a bottle of ink, Lamy cartridge, and of course the Lamy converter. And I believe if they still have these sets available, uh, it's a fine and medium nib. And I believe they're on sale for $44.99. If I'm correct, they could be sold out or the sale could be off. So remember that, okay? And back to the uh, converter. That's with a Z28 converter. A T52 black ink bottle. And a box of black. T10 cartridge. So, Lamy, this one is the strawberry. Beautiful pen is going to come out in a minute after I read you all the good things about it. Packaged in a gift box, or you can buy it single here. And like I said, the availability for the pen nibs are going to be with fine and medium. And if you know anybody that's wanting to get into fountain pens, or already in fountain pens, graduating, or wants a fountain pen, hey, make a great gift, wouldn't it? I think it would. Make great, just an all-around good gift set, yeah, so. The Lamy Strawberry, the Lamy Safari Strawberry. Beautiful, gorgeous red. When I see it, I think of strawberries. <laughs> In fact, we should have one now. So let's go ahead and open the box up. And we are going to get this little jewel out for you. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And 
and here it comes on a little sleeve. And right here is instructions. How many of you ever even look at these? Maybe it's some time to at least read it once so you can get the idea. And we're just going to take it off the sleeve. Set that aside. Now look at this. That is really pretty, isn't it? I, you know, I love this clip, how the clip just matches the cap and the barrel. And you have your little ink windows there. And, of course, you have your little lummy ring there to show you that the authenticity of this pen. And it has not been altered. Now, there are fakes out there you have to watch out for. Yes, there are. So, let me get you some dimensions here. And we're going to get to it. We are going to get busy. Busy, 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 busy. Now, this pen, if you buy just single, I think they're more like $29 and some change, $29.60 or so. This is the special edition from Blombie Safari, the Cozy Strawberry. What's your first thoughts to seeing this beautiful pen? Isn't it nice looking? Just it's it just stunning looking pen. It is. It's a cool pen. You want a cool pen? Here's a cool pen. And you know, I'm gonna call them brother and sister. I don't have the other one, but they they do have another nice one that is the Lamy Safari as well special edition and that one my brothers and sisters is the cozy cream same size same everything just different color okay so now now the this one they do have another net for it Extra fine, fine and medium. I just said medium fine, they do. Now, you want to check your gift sets and you want to check your singles to see what nibs come with that because they could change. Can you post this pen? Yep. And we'll get to that in a minute. And it's a snap and you're posted. The dimensions of this pen, as you see it, is five. 0.6 long times 0 0.5. And, of course, the good old filling mechanism. Cartridge or pituitary converter. And the grip, as you will see in a minute, material Ergonomic, soft touch coating. Now the length of this pin is a 5.6 length. Remember that, okay? That's the length. And the nib, of course, is a steel nib. And those are fun to play with. Material is ABS plastic. Again, this pin nibs comes in extra fine, fine and medium. Now the refill on these inks, now if you have never tried Lamy ink, and this is your first time even hearing about Lamy ink, or if you're new into Lamy pens and really hadn't bit the bullet on their ink yet, well, maybe now it's time. Lamy ink bottles, they're really cool. I love them. And you can get them, I mean, they're, they don't cost that much. You would think, wow, isn't this expensive? No, I think you can get them for under 18 bucks, I'm thinking. But you can get everything you need over at Pin Boutique Shop. Whatever you need, check it out. I need to get a whole lot other one that the cream look one is so beautiful. It reminds me of a creamsicle. Mmm. <laughs> beautiful pin. So the trim is red, as you see. And they have a two year warranty on the pin. 
So, enough talk. Time for action. A nice, sturdy clip. It's not going anywhere. I surrender. All right. All right, now we're going to go up the cap. I really like that clip. I kind of goes up. Always reminds me of going up to the mountain skiing, and bam, you're going off. So on the top, you have the uh, Lombie logo there. The there's like a neck standing measure. Yes. And that's going to help you if you're looking for a ballpoint pen, roller ball, it's going to have a different symbol on there, okay? So you want to keep that in mind. These are on the fountain pens. And then as we go down, there's lovely, beautiful strawberry fields forever. And you'll see Lamy right there. And I do like the ink windows on both sides. And we'll put off the cap. Bam. And it's going down to the barrel. We're down the barrel. Dun, 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 dun. And now we're going into the grip section. Now here's where it gets a little bit kind of hairy for people. You know, I'm feeling this grip section. I'm totally into the grip section. I'm really liking the grip section. I'm excited. I get dynamite over the grip section because it just comes together so well. As you see the indent of the grip section, how it's held. This really helps you keep your fingers in place when you're using the fountain pen. Now, some people just don't like it. They won't use it. They will not buy the Lombie pen because of this. But that's okay because they can do that. They have choices, you know. We all are different. We're not robots. But I'm telling you, there's so many people that have made this pen a choice of pen to use on a daily basis because of what you see in this grip section. So there's, you know, positives about this, and I love it, and I highly recommend the pen. As you go down the grip section, there is this wonderful, cool nib. It has an M on it, medium, Lamy underneath it. We'll turn it over for you guys. Here we go. There's that little feed. Now, I'm not doing it on today's show, but I will later. And you can find some on my other previous reviews from years ago. Take removing the grip, I'm sorry, removing the nib off uh, the pen. I just get some scotch tape, put it on there, and I just pull it off. It comes right off by itself. Right off the feed section. It was just bang, gone, done, over. Not rocket science. It's Larry science. So here we go. Let's go ahead and remove the other stuff. Now, I was going to put another converter in here. But, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this. Lumber cartridge come with me to demonstrate and show you folks out there. So here we go. Lumber converter. Blue ink pump. Going into the Lamy section of the grip section, which is going to provide ink into the feed and to the nip section. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Anybody catch this? Dun, 
do it that way, or can you do it this way? Now, it only goes in one way. And you're still not getting nothing. Hmm. Maybe this way. Do you remember which way it came out, Mr. Converter? Did come, Mr. Announcer, did it come out this way? I'm pretty sure it came out that way, yeah. Yep. So remember, hopefully when this cartridge comes out, that's the way it's going to go into the unit. So, next thing is to get it in there, right? So here we go. Bam. And I was just messing with you, having some fun. But on a serious note, really, if you're new, or if you just kind of knew, it could be kind of difficult for you because you're not sure because it's not going in as easy as you thought. You probably say, oh, no, I got it the wrong way. No, you didn't. Remember, usually when you take off the barrel, that converter's already lined up to go into your section as you see it. It's going to take a little pressure when you do it. Oh, and that's actually the cartridge. The cartridge, yeah. This is the cartridge. It goes into that feed section. You have to give it some time to get into that feed section, into the nib, and then you're going to have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. Yes, yes, because you are now a Limey fan. Here we go. I do this playing around sometimes with it. Why? You don't have to. Get the ink started. So here we go. Sometimes it goes right in pretty quick. Sometimes you may take a little uh, hand work to get it started. Let's see if it's ready yet. Let's see if it's ready. I just love the pen. Look at this. It's ready. And this is the Lummy baby coming back at you. La la la, la 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 la. Special edition. with a medium nib. a decent uh, witness to it. Alright. 
I'm telling you, if you buy this one, you might as well go ahead and get the other one, the Lamy's Fiery, the, the, the uh, cream-colored one. And I'm just looking on here. They have extra fine, fine and medium. So, with that said, my friends, let's see what else I can give you. Pin Boutique. If you have any questions, you can call them at area code 410-992-3272. That's their customer service Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And they're closed on the weekends. They're going to take a break sometime. Okay. So you might want to call and check and see when their store hours are going to be open and closed because there could be some changes up and made and you might not know it. Then you're going to say, Larry said they were closed. Well, sometimes Larry doesn't know what planet he's on. Mm, is that right, Mr. Nelson? Pretty much, yes. Oh, well. So anyway, here is the store. I need to put my arm on here and rest. I do like a broad nib on these pins myself. Cause I like how that downstroke goes. Now, see, as you see this, starting to railroad. Not the pin's fault. Not enough ink is getting into the feed. had not been used enough. Plus, I've been really pressing down a little bit too much on it and not giving it enough time to get that ink up into the section there. But there's nothing wrong with it at all. And I'm not a, afraid to say it or show it. And now I'm not deleting that part. I want you to see it because this could happen to you. And you think, what's wrong with my pen? It's not writing. No, it's not. It, it, your pen's okay. It's just you. And that would be kind of interesting to know. Uh, leave in the comments below. When you write with your fountain pen, do you write fast or do you write more at a moderate speed? And you do get reverse writing. I bet mean, that's the first time you've seen that one. Usually it's across the page, but not with me. You never know. So, no, it is not the nib. Now, if you want to, you can always check it out. And you can do several different ways. I am going to squeeze it to make sure but that it out. Just get an ink. There you go. Look at that. Or you can always kind of just do it like that if needed, when you have to. There. But once you get that ink flowing on any pen, it's good to go. So what's your thoughts, folks? Said, hey, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pen Review, and thank you so much for Lena from Pin Boutique for sending me this pen for review. I really appreciate that. God bless each and every one of you. If you can't, you're a stranger, my friend out there. 
be kind to yourself. Peace and love. A lot of peace and love out there. And don't text and drive. Bye-bye.